tropical swamps. It's tough to love. The bugs. The leeches. The sudden sink into your neck in stagnant water. But they are doing us a huge favor when it comes to the climate. We're asking life-saving swamps is such a sticky business. Next, it's Newsday, here on the BBC World Service, the world's radio station. It's five o'clock in London. Hello and welcome to Newsday on the BBC World Service with Rob Young and James Connell. In the United States, 46 people have been found dead in and around an abandoned lorry in Austin in Texas. A shopping center is hit by a Russian missile strike in Ukraine, while international leaders meet to discuss the war. Was it only totally insane terrorists who should have no place on Earth can strike missiles as such an object? This is a calculated Russian strike on the shopping mall. Well, that's whether NATO is doing enough to support Ukraine. Also, Colombia's Truth Commission releases its report on 60 years of civil war in the country. Will it help to heal a nation scarred by the conflict? And we hear from a woman in Hong Kong preparing to go to prison for demonstrating against the authorities. Sports and business news as ever after the latest world news. Hello, I'm Chris Barrow with the BBC News. 46 people have been found dead in an abandoned truck on the outskirts of the city of San Antonio in the US state of Texas. It's thought the victims were undocumented migrants who crossed over from Mexico. The local fire chief said emergency services discovered stacks of bodies. The head of police in San Antonio, William McManus, told reporters how the authorities were alerted. A worker who works in one of the buildings up here heard a cry for help, came out to investigate, found a trailer with the doors partially open, opened them up to take a look, and found a number of deceased individuals inside. We have three people in custody. We don't know if they are absolutely connected to this or not. 16 survivors have been taken to hospital suffering from heat exhaustion. The nationalities of the dead are not yet known, but Mexico's foreign minister said two Guatemalans were among those in hospital. Here's our correspondent, David Willis. There's been a heat wave in the San Antonio area, and other cities in that part of Texas have been experiencing it as well, near record high temperatures. And the local fire department officials said there was no sign of water in the truck. Now, this is a location that's close to the 35 freeway. That's known to be a major transit route for traffic and commerce from the U.S.-Mexico border. There's been international condemnation of a Russian missile strike on a crowded shopping center in the central Ukrainian city of Kremenchuk. Ukraine's emergency services chief said 16 people had died in the attack and 59 were wounded. The leaders of the G7 countries who are meeting in Germany called it a war crime. A spokesman for the United Nations described the attack as deplorable and said civilian infrastructure should never be targeted. The trial has begun in Miami of a former Argentine military officer accused of involvement in the murder of 16 left-wing activists 50 years ago. The civil case against Roberto Bravo is being brought in the US, where he's been living for decades. With the latest for us, here's Leonardo Rossa. Mr. Bravo says he acted in self-defense during a prison riot at the Trelev naval base in Argentina's Patagonia region. Three people who survived reject his version of events, saying the political prisoners were rounded up and shot. The incident happened during the military regime led by General Alejandro Lanusi. Mr. Bravo has lived in the United States since the 1970s, where he served as a diplomat and has managed to avoid extradition to Argentina. Ten years ago, a court there sentenced three other military men accused of involvement in the massacre to life in prison. World news from the BBC. A long-distance passenger train in the United States has derailed, killing three people. It hit a truck at a crossing which had no barriers or lights in the state of Missouri. There were more than 200 passengers and crew on board the train, which is travelling from Los Angeles to Chicago. Talks are expected to start in Qatar on Tuesday in a renewed effort to revive the international deal on Iran's nuclear program. Discussions in Vienna on the 2015 agreement have been stalled since March. 
Latest indirect talks follow an unexpected visit by the European foreign policy chief, Josep Borrell, to Iran on Saturday.